Smallholder farmers in Zimbabwe's rural areas have relentlessly grown maize for years, both as a staple and a resource to boost their economy. But as they rely on rain-fed maize farming, each planting season is like a gamble with nature as poor rainfall, pests and diseases constantly threaten the staple crop and their livelihood. As most smallholders tried to recover from the El Nino induced drought that hit Southern Africa, affecting 40 million people during the 2015 to 2016 agricultural season, nothing would have prepared them for the sudden invasion of a new pest that caused irreversible damage on their maize crop. This pest has since been identified as the fall army worm. When you are in the in November 2016, Chibaga Chango Tanga Kunomera, Dopandaka Tanga Kuana Pine to Konya to Kaino Terra Chibaga, Chino Ruma Mashija. Dovandazo, Pet the Sandown of Gonera Kent and Chipakati Pembesque Chibag. Nagatora Mushonga Rudz were Cabra, Dovandano Control. The Gambona would go, Chita Sewa, not Zikira Shoma. As Pandagara Banches on Fabam Gatime Mund and the Gawana Gonero in a Richino Chapakati Pembe of Pining Chino Kura. Nekuda kwe gonye hili, pa 2 hectares nda nga nchitari sila matana anoshika pa 14. Asi nekuda kwe gonye hili nda kutari sila matana angango hita 8. Siba kecho chuma nchisha nyanya kutikanga nisa inya e gonye kwa kitakaeza kukimbo kifiki taki karamba. Kitaka tanga taka tanga kukona imo mumu na December, nyo mataka tanga kukona 2016. Nyo mataka tanga kukona gonye hili. Kutima mma kwenye chati kasi mbwa fikita mako kesa haifa. Manje kitaka eza mshonga ese tembo fikita na yekakamba kufa gonye. Kakati tambu za gonye. The fall armyworm is the second among seven of the most damaging agricultural pests and can cause up to 70% crop loss or total loss in some cases if unmanaged. The pest damages the maize plant by feeding on the leaves and the ears. The fall armyworm was first reported in September 2016 in Southern Africa and with the onset of the planting season in November 2016, it caused significant damage on over 280,000 hectares of maize in Malawi, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia and Zimbabwe. So far, it has been impossible to eradicate the pest known to migrate over 100 kilometers per day and breed quite fast. So far, outbreak reports have been received from all the 10 provinces of Zimbabwe and the yield losses are varying uh, with the, some cases where fields with young maize plants have 100% infestations. And currently, we are also doing research work where we are trying uh, different chemicals to see which ones work in controlling effectively the pest and uh, which rates for farmers to use. And we are also uh, uh, even including natural enemies that we also find attacking the pest and see how best we can provide these recommendations for farmers to use. Beyond Southern Africa, stakeholders are worried about the fast spread of the pest in other maize growing regions in Sub-Saharan Africa. Urgent solutions are needed to control this pest. It has been confirmed in all countries in Southern Africa. Um, and it is now spreading also to Eastern Africa. Latest reports are that uh, the whole of Eastern Africa up to Uganda, okay, have also been affected by the four armyworm. But this is in addition uh, to those countries that had four armyworm before even it reached Southern Africa. In some parts uh, of, of, uh, of, uh, of say Zimbabwe, 70% of the crop uh, was damaged. The level of damage witnessed in the fields is likely to affect maize harvest across the region, which is likely to adversely affect food security for over 200 million people who depend on maize for food. What Simit and the overall CRP maize team uh, intends to do is 
to launch a coordinated, a well-coordinated, multi-institutional and a, a multidisciplinary initiative uh, that takes into account a range of options. Uh, biological control using effective biopesticides, uh, then chemical options, uh, whichever are considered to be environmentally safe, then uh, agronomic management uh, so that uh, you rotate with uh, suitable compatible crops or intercrop uh, compatible crops and minimize the damage, while at the same time uh, have a, a rigorous surveillance uh, not only at the community level but also at the uh, remote sensing based surveillance uh, so that we can provide an early warning uh, systems based on that surveillance. And final and the most important option undoubtedly is about uh, breeding for uh, resistance to fall on Iwam. Three organizations have joined forces to bring together over 80 experts across the globe to deliberate on with potential solutions to consider. This is a very important workshop. Um, the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA, uh, CIMIT, and the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, uh, their office in Southern Africa. Uh, all of these three organizations, we decided to join hands and organize a stakeholder consultation meeting on the fall army worm uh, and what is the present status and what are the technological options to consider and what strategy we do need to adopt. Since maize is extensively grown in sub-Saharan Africa, the imminent impact of the fall army worm cannot be ignored. This demands for a sustainable and workable solution, taking a multi-institutional approach that brings together experts across Africa and the world offers the best strategy. This strategy must put the farmer at the heart of each initiative.